What's going on everybody, it's Christian here. Today I'm gonna to show you pretty much the basic steps on how to get started with improving your audio directly in Premiere Pro without having to go to any other programs like Audition. So first thing what I usually do is I have my audio laid up on the track as you can see. For right now I have basically the same clip, clip duplicated twice. And so this is gonna be the one we're working on. This is gonna be our reference to the original clip. So first thing, you just want to listen and see where it sits at. So let's give this a whole playback. Welcome everybody to today's tutorial. We're going to be talking about color correction and color grading, the differences between the two and why it's so important to apply to your footage. We're also going to be going over some of the basic techniques for you to improve your footage and make it stand out compared to others. Okay, so it didn't sound too bad, but it wasn't exactly great either. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to basically try to cap off our levels here. So as you can see all the way to the side, we have our audio levels here where you could see through our playback and where it sits at. It's sitting about uh, between negative 9 dB and 3 dB. So what we want is to normalize this for right now. So we're gonna right click, go to audio gain. We're gonna go to normalize and we're gonna set it to negative six. And negative six is a good all around point for different kinds of devices, not just TV, but also phones and tablets. So after that, we have, it's going to be kind of a subtle difference, but... Welcome everybody to today's tutorial. We're going to be talking about color correction and color grading, the differences between the two, and why it's so important to apply to your footage. So it kind of normalizes a little bit and caps it off at 60 dB. As you can see, it didn't really peak over that too much. So the first thing we're going to do as far as our effects go is we're going to look for denoiser. And so obviously what this is going to do is it's going to get rid of a little bit of our background noise that we have here. This was recorded with a lavalier microphone, so it's not terrible, but it's also not, you know, perfect. Um, and it wasn't too bad. So for this, we can just go with the simple preset of light noise. And you're probably not going to hear too much of a difference, but... Welcome everybody to today's tutorial. We're going to be talking about color correction and color grading, the differences between the two and why it's so important to apply to your footage. We're also gonna be going over some of the basic techniques for you to improve your footage and make it stand out compared to others. So there's a little bit of a difference, you can hear it. Um, and that's just really gonna clean out most of the background noise if there's any, so you don't hear too much static. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a Dynamics Compressor. And we're gonna to toss that on here. And the reason I like this one a little bit better is just because it's pretty straightforward. You get different kinds of uh, positions on here from the auto gate compressor and expander, but we're only gonna focus on the compressor for right now. And this is gonna be pretty straightforward. We're gonna set our threshold to negative 30. And that's basically just gonna cap it. Um, our ratio is gonna be a 4.5, I believe. And then our makeup is gonna be uh, about 12. Let's play that back. Welcome everybody to today's tutorial. We're gonna be talking about color correction and color grading, the differences between the two and why it's so important to apply to your footage. We're also gonna be going over some of the basic techniques for you to improve your footage and make it stand out compared to others. Welcome everybody to today's tutorial. We're gonna be talking about All right, so as you can see, it sounds a lot better right now by comparison to what it originally was. So the next step in the process, we are going to set a mastering effect. And what mastering is gonna do is it's gonna kind of just set up our voice to kind of have highs and lows a little bit better. So usually it's, it's at least for me, dragging it down here uh, on the low shelf and then kind of like just raising it a little bit. Color correction and color grading, the differences between the two and why it's so important to apply to your footage. We're also gonna be going over some of the basic techniques for you to improve your footage and make it stand out compared to others. You Welcome can really hear the difference on this. Tutorial. We're gonna be talking about color correction and off. color grading, the differences between the two and why it's so important to apply to on. your footage. We're also gonna be going over some of the basic techniques for you to improve your footage and make it stand out compared to others. Welcome everybody to All right, I'm also getting kind of tired of hearing my own voice. But this is what we kind of have to do to, you know, improve the tutorials and make everything better. And so for the last step, what I like to do, and this is kind of an optional step for most people, is I like to put a hard limiter 
on the audio. So basically this is going to have somewhat of the same effect as a normalizer, but it's going to make sure that we don't peak past a certain point in the audio. So for this, we're going to probably go for negative 6 dB again um, and just really keep that here. And if you continue to watch where our levels are on the side of the meter, you can see they pretty much cap we're off be talking at the about six. Color correction and color grading, the differences between the two and why it's so important to apply to your footage. We're also going to be going over some of the basic techniques for you to improve your footage and make it stand out compared to others. All right, that sounds significantly better compared to the original. Audio. Welcome everybody to today's tutorial. We're going to be talking about color correction and color grading, the differences between the two. And, and back. Welcome everybody to today's tutorial. We're going to be talking about color correction and color grading, the differences between the two and why it's so important to apply to your footage. We're also going to be going over some of the basic techniques for you to improve your footage and make it stand out compared to others. So already there's just a couple, about four steps it takes to kind of really improve your audio directly in Premiere. There's, if you take it into Audition, it's actually a lot better. You get a little bit more support obviously for audio because it's exclusively for audio. But if you're really just trying to push everything through Premiere, Premiere does a fantastic job with handling audio in itself. So this is kind of like steps just to kind of like prep it up and maybe push through some projects if you're kind of on crunch time for it. And just to make it a little bit easier, what you can also do is you can select each one of these and you can combine them and save these as a preset. So you can take them and name them whatever you want. You could prefix it. I've seen a lot of people prefix their audio presets with audio and video with video. So we could just put uh, audio and just do something like clean up. Nice and simple and you can put a d description on it. I mean, enhance the audio. I don't know, you could label this however you want and you can keep it on scale and hit okay. And then once you do that, it gets added to your presets folder. So as you can see with audio, if you do label it with audio, it groups all your audio together and all your video together if you label it with video. But yeah, and then you can apply this to other audio clips as well. So even though this is pretty much the original audio clip, you can easily just take this, drag it, and as you can see in the effects control, it added all those, pretty much those effects that I added to the first one um, to the rest. As a side note, maybe a quick tip that most people seem to forget when it comes to that. Um, to make it easier when you were kind of doing playback and testing your audio effects, you can see that when I played it back, that I had this going on loop. And what you could do for that is hit loop playback here in your control settings. But what most people seem to forget is how to access that. So a little friendly reminder is that if you hit this plus sign here, you can edit your button layouts and customize them and just pull them and drag and you can reorder everything just to be nice and simple to your liking. So these four steps kind of keep the process nice and simple and straightforward. This is pretty much a basic way on how to enhance your audio in Premiere alone without having to jump through too many programs like Audition. I know there are definitely ways to improve this workflow, but I definitely hope it helps really anybody out there. I know audio is not exactly everybody's forte when it comes to editing video. And I usually personally like to do it in Audition just because it gives me more controls and has a little bit more of enhanced tools. However, this is pretty much a good way how to get you started with editing audio. I hope this tutorial helps you and definitely let me know. And I'm looking forward to some feedback on how to improve this workflow because in the future, maybe this will kind of be the go-to so I don't have to keep jumping between programs. So I hope you have a good one. Thanks.